Hi, I'm Alex in Equin. This is Ekai's musical encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's term is, opa, today's term is viola da gamba. Viola da gamba. Gamba in Italian is leg. So we could translate viola da gamba for a viola for the legs. Okay, a viola for the leg. Uh, as opposed to a viola for the arm. Okay. Um, in my ignorance, I've always said that uh, viola da gamba is sort of a grandfather, grandmother to the cello. And then, because of the pandemics, here I am interviewing gambists. Um, and they tell me that it is not that they are uh, similar instruments, families, different families of instruments that developed uh, around the same time. So the cello is part of the violin family. What happens there? Four strings, all, all the violin family, violin, viola, cello, and double bass, they have four strings. They have, uh, they don't have frets. Uh, they have F holes. If you look at the, the, the shape of the cello, it has an F, it looks like an F the hole, while the, the gamba has a C hole. Interesting, huh? The viola has frets. Uh, sometimes it's movable frets, which makes it very hard to tune. And that's one of the reasons why the viola da gamba uh, became an old instrument became an ancient instrument because the cello is much easier to tune is a much more practical instrument than the gamba sometimes people call viola da gamba simply gamba okay uh, although it's funny because gamba is leg so but there you go okay in english you can say oh i play the gamba which does not mean i play my leg <laughs> anyway uh, another difference uh, between the cello and the, the gamba is that the cello has that spike with which you uh, it helps you to position the cello on the floor and then you uh, you you don't have to hold it with your legs which is the case of the gamba you really have to to hold the viola the gamba with your legs otherwise it will fall on the floor you don't want that um, you, the viola da gamba, the vast majority of the repertoire you will find is from the Baroque period. And think of Lully, think of Marron, Mahé. Uh, even even Johann Sebastian Bach wrote stuff for the, the, the gamba. So they coexisted. Again, the, the families, the cello and the viola da gamba coexisted at the same time. They were just different sounds. The gamba sound is a little more melancholic than the cello. Uh, la, 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 la. I guess that's it. Viola da gamba. A very interesting instrument. Look, go look for, for some songs with, with the viola da gamba, especially in the Baroque period. It's a very interesting instrument, okay? Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.